So right now, checking in with Cal Larson. He's at the Fox 11 Storm Chaser this morning, monitoring the damage from last night. And Cal, are you right there in Kokona? Yeah, Pete, good morning. We are. We showed you guys some trees, some smaller trees, some limbs, some power lines down earlier. Well, let's take a look at this. This is just uh, one section of what are two very, very large portions of this tree off to our right in the front yard. We are just off West Tobacner Street uh, at the corner of Oviat Street to give you a better idea of, of the neighborhood we're in. You guys can see that these two limbs just completely blown off and then laying across the entirety of this road. So this road, just one of many here in Kakana this morning that has a partial closure. I mean, just take a look at the size of the, the parts of this tree and how much of this yard they stretch. They cover the entire road to the other side and then well into the neighbor's yard up there. So Pete, as I said earlier, you know, daybreak shows all. We'll be spending the morning in Kakana and showing you a lot of this damage. This is just a portion of it. Earlier we were over in, uh, at the corner of Delanglade and Denoyer and showed you some of that. This is just blocks away. So there aren't many areas that we've seen so far that are unaffected from last night's storm. We'll continue monitoring the area and bring you what we find. Pete. All right. Thanks, Cal. And the Fox 11 Storm Chaser is still out this morning with Cal Larson. He joins us live to give us a closer look at some of the damage he has seen. Good morning, Cal. Rachel, good morning. Still in Kakana here this morning. We moved over to the northwest side of the town. We are just off the corner of East Division and John Street. And here's the side yard of one of the houses here. You can see a mess of trees, well, a number of trees that have left a mess of fallen branches, logs, twigs. Just a whole lot of damage here on the side of the hill. And when I uh, spoke with you guys at 6.30, said, you know, people were just starting to wake up and coming out to the damage. Well, that's very evident on this street now. We have a couple kids going to school, uh, families getting in their car and getting their day started. This is just one of the many, many houses and areas with significant damage here. Now, thankfully, this house, of course, avoided some vehicles and some damage to the house itself. but can't overstate the uh, the mess and the cleanup that they'll have to endure. So we'll connect with We Energies here in just a little bit, talk about some of those outages and what's being done, and we'll continue to show you some more damage as we come upon it as well. Rachel? And we will check back with you then. Thanks, Cal. Yeah, let's get right to Cal. Cal Larson's in the Fox 11 Storm Chaser this morning. He's joining us live to give us a closer look at some of the damage. Morning, Cal. Rachel, good morning. Just on East Division Street on the northwest side of Kakana, we've been showing you guys a lot of damage all morning from road closures, trees down on roofs, some down power lines. Well, we have Matt Cullen here, spokesperson with WPS. Uh, Matt, good morning. Good morning, Thanks Cal. for joining us. Absolutely. Uh, a scene no one wants to wake up and deal with, but of course, a storm like last night's brings some power outages. How many is WPS dealing with right now? Uh, Wisconsin Public Service is working as safely and as quickly as we can to repair widespread power outages caused by those very damaging thunder thunderstorms last night. We've been able to restore power to approximately 27,000 customers That's who have fantastic. been affected by that storm. Right now we have about 10,000 customers who are without power, but our crews are continuing to work as hard as they can. They'll continue to work nonstop until we're able to restore power to everyone who's been affected. Someone wakes up, they step outside, they see a down line. Uh, file a report, get a hold of you guys. How do they do that? There's several ways you can do that. You can use the WPS app to report that outage or that down piece of equipment. You can go on our website, wisconsinpublicservice.com, or you can give us a call as well. When it comes to these types of situations and those hazards, again, stay at least mm -hmm. 25 feet away from any down piece of electric equipment, down power line, and report that to us right away so we can send someone out there to make that area safe. Always assume any down piece of electric equipment is energized. For, so a, a line like this, for example, this house here on East Division, someone comes outside. This is uh, obviously easy to avoid because the tape, uh, the caution tape here, but someone steps outside, like you just said, don't go near it, don't touch it. You guys have crews to help clean this up, correct? Yes, we have specialized crews that are experienced in dealing with these types of situations. Report that to us right away. Do not attempt to remove any sort of objects, items, trees, anything that may have come into contact with a downed line. Report that to us right away. We can send our crews out to the area. They're very highly trained, very highly experienced in dealing with these types of repairs. 
how does the storm last night stack up to ones you've seen uh, recently, previously? Obviously, outages are going to happen in any storm, but uh, one of the size. So this type of storm is something that our crews, again, are very highly mm -hmm. experienced at dealing with. Uh, every storm is going to be just a little bit unique from the ones before, the ones still to come. However, what we've seen with this storm and the challenges that our crews are seeing are those downed trees, those limbs, those branches that have fallen onto electric equipment and have caused power outages for our customers. But again, our crews know what the steps mm -hmm. are that they need to take to be able to restore power as safely and as quickly as they possibly can. Matt, thanks so much for joining us this yeah. morning. Great words of caution from Matt there again. You come outside, you see a down line, get in touch with WPS. They'll send a crew out. They'll take care of it. Good word of caution. Avoid them completely and stay back. We'll go back to you guys for now. All right. Thanks, Cal. Our Fox 11 storm chaser is out this morning. Fox 11's Cal Larson is giving us a closer look at the damage from yesterday's storms. Good morning, Cal. Where are you and what do you see? Pete, good morning. We're on Oriole Drive here in Kakana, kind of the southeastern, south central part of the city. Uh, we'll show you guys what we're looking at. Sandwich between two houses here. This is the first time this morning we've seen parts of a roof gone. So that house there to our right, part of its roof taken completely off, and then the house to our left there, the front part of that roof taken completely off. So we're in the backyard of where these two houses meet. That's not the only damage out here. Guys, fences blown around. Take a look at this, just one part of this backyard fence ripped off, blown, gosh, probably about 20 yards away from the original, and then we move over this way. A mini trampoline here in the tree, this tree down on this fence over here. Now, a lot of damage in the area. We did catch up with Wisconsin Public Service. They gave us an update on the number of outages and what they're working on right now. Wisconsin Public Service crews are responding and repairing outages as quickly and as safely as they can following those intense thunderstorms that moved through Tuesday evening across northeast and north central Wisconsin. Those storms contained uh, intense lightning as well as very damaging wind gusts up to 60 or even 70 miles per hour in some areas. Uh, but our crews have been able to make good progress. They restored power to approximately 27,000 customers since 9 o'clock last night and we'll have crews that will be working throughout the day today to continue making those repairs and restoring power to our customers. So you heard it right there that they continue to work. We've shown all sorts of damage this morning from trees on cars, across roads, road closures, wires down, trees on houses. As I said, the first time this morning, we've seen parts of roofs missing. Thankfully, everyone we've spoken to this morning safe, just some damage to clean up. Uh, we'll continue monitoring. We'll stick in this area and show you what other damage we can find. Pete. Okay. Thanks, Cal.